Alrighty, hi everybody. So it is Drea today. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about um, my experience through transitioning um, and kind of what all I really expected and kind of what all came instead. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about. So firstly, I want to talk about the weight gain. Um, I've never really been super heavy in my life. And I mean, I'm still not really all that heavy. Um, but that being said, like I tend to not lose or not maintain my weight. So I really have to watch what I eat. And I've never really had to do that before. So that's been kind of difficult. Um, so I've been kind of switching and getting into the motions of um, going vegan just because I want to be healthier. I want my body to be healthier and all of that. So that is one thing. Um, the stretch marks are not even funny. Um, <laughs> I have so many more blemishes now that I've started to transition and as I said, like, this is just my experience. This is not everybody else's. So this is not like this is going to be literally everybody's experience. But I'm just letting people know how my experience has gone. And, you know, I'm okay with stretch marks. I'm okay with it because, I mean, this is what I got myself into. This is what females go on, go through on a daily basis. This is what humans go through on a daily basis. So that's been kind of one of the things that have really gotten to me. But at the end of the day, like, I'm super happy with who I am. I'm super comfortable with who I am. And I'm just all together way, way happier. Um, you know, the other thing is <clears throat> you will probably not see your progress as much as other people because it's so gradual. So... I feel like I haven't changed at all and then I go back and I look at pictures when I first started transitioning and I'm just like wow okay I I see the changes now and you know just go look at some of my future my past videos um you'll kind of see the progression as they came along um and that was something that was like crazy for me because I was like, you know, I don't look feminine. I don't sound feminine. I don't. And like it, we get it stuck in our heads that we have to be a certain way, that we have to look a certain way. And in all reality, I am just as pretty as I thought I wanted. To, I don't know how to say that. I'm definitely a lot more feminine than I was and sometimes I don't feel as feminine and I think that's because I'm so critical of myself and so critical of how I look and my body and that's just a really rough place to be but I feel like a lot of trans girls do go through a lot of body issues and it's just really hard to deal with sometimes um you know my boobs have gotten you know I mean they're booby <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's that. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Obviously not to the bathroom, but... So, here's my body. And you can see where kind of the curves kind of set in a lot more. And so, I have gotten quite a bit curvier. You know, and my stomach does stay flat. So I no longer carry weight here like I used to. I carry a lot of weight um, in my butt and thighs. And that is my next thing I'm getting to. Is I have <laughs> the, I think it's cellulitis. You know, those little bumps in your skin. Like the little dimples in your skin. Which for me was a very huge deal for me um just because i feel like when i first saw them i kind of thought my world was crashing down because i've always been known for having like perfect flawless skin and um 
I've never really had to deal with that before and then I had to deal with it and it was really rough and you know there's just certain things that I've had to do to counteract what my transition has done to my body and it's not a bad thing that it's done this to my body because this is natural this is what women go through this is literally how every single female feels about their body and it's just not fair you know because I feel like we have such a hold on the ideal of being a perfect female, the ideal of having the perfect body, the ideal of all of these things, which in reality, I mean, with hard work and dedication, we can get where we want to be. But at the same time, it is a lot of hard work and it is a lot of dedication. And it's a lot harder now that I've been on hormones because I just, it's so much harder to lose weight. Um, it's so much harder to do all of that stuff. Um, but, you know, at the same time, like, I would not change any of this for the world because this is who I am and this is who I've always wanted to be. So, that is pretty much my end to my video. So, I've been on hormones now almost a year and three months, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, so, like my video, subscribe, um... Follow me, post um, comments in the comments in the um, comment area, and go look at some of my previous videos to see just how much I've changed. Um, here in a little while, in a couple months, I will probably be doing a um, full transition video of where I was at before I started transitioning and up until that point. So if you guys would follow me um if you have any questions anything like that post them in the comments and i will try to respond Alrighty, guys peace and love